man is it good to be back welcome back for some super mega baseball 4 and uh, we're taking on the station nears they are 13 and 14 we are 13 and 13 straight 500 for your bayfront bullets sending getty duck door to the mountain today facing off against samuel clements uh for hugerton so we'll see how we do. We're going to hop into our usual, which is watching the ball game. We're going to take a look at our lineup before we do too much, however. On fire is Agro Peppers. Stick him in that cleanup spot and leave him there, because I'm liking the way that's rolling for us. I like this lineup. We got a good one today, and uh, except for Jason. Jason needs to get out of here and be replaced with Miss Molly. All right. Because he's leaving, like, not now, but he's, he's going to go, uh, especially at the end of the season. Let's do it. Oh, man. It's been crazy. i got to tell you more about things, but we're staying at home as we take on the Stationers. So back to the Emerald Diamond, back to some Super Mega Baseball 4. Thank you so much for all the support with this series thus far. If you want to see more, let me know. And uh, with that, we're ready for baseball from Seattle, top of the first. Number 20, Dominic Lane. Dominic Lane, ready to get us started. Daytime baseball with Getty on the mound. First pitch he is not there, and we are underway. Worked my first 60-hour uh, week of my life. Uh, that's a milestone that I'm not super excited about as the ground ball and throw is not in time and so the leadoff runner aboard for Hugerton on a and here's text to speech Benson those of you who've watched the series kind of see that that's been something we've dealt with a little bit as the first one's popped up possibly playable and not quite so it's 0-1 on Benson text to speech and they're going to get one. They're going to get one. Third baseman, number All right. 13, Ash Bell. Here's Ash Bell. I wonder if there's any relation between... No, that was Lane. I'm, I'm, uh, if I make any big commentatorial... Commentatorious... Uh, commentary influenced... Can you tell how much I have to think about the words which I am speaking? And that's going to get through. And so Hugerton, a couple runners on. Now batting the shortstop, number 29, Alan Goodman. Alan Goodman. Why is that name familiar and not necessarily in a good way? Goodman aboard. And, oh, that took out Getty. Potentially the throw. They're going to get nobody anywhere. They're loaded. So the Getty's okay. Number 50, Demetrius Kaufman. Demetrius Kaufman stepping in. And are we leaving... Oh, no. Well, and Nicole Frazier coming in early as Getty beamed. And we'll hope that she can sort this mess out. And she's starting off not doing that. 2-0 and oh on Goodman. And that's it. Foul. Two balls and a strike. And that's not there either. Three balls and a strike. Nicole risking walking in a run. And that's going to be a third. And there's a play for one. There's a play for two. Double play. And out of the inning unscathed. Despite the injury, Nicole able to get it done. No runs for the Stationers. Here come the Bullets with Cesar Jacks leading it off against Samuel Clements, who winds, kicks, and deals. First pitch is swung and hit foul. 0 and 1. And the bat, the best bat. Shatters on the pop-up and retired is Jack, so he'll need a new piece of lumber when he comes up for his second A.B. tonight. Canopy Cannon. Cannon stepping in. I say tonight because it's about 10.30 at night as I record this. All right. And that's hit through the middle, and it's going to be no caught. Mm. Man. All right, here comes Melody, who we haven't seen in the starting lineup for a while. She's come off the bench a few times for us, but liking that as she swings and misses. Two gone in the inning, and Melody with a one and one count. The pitch from Clements is hit up the... Nope. I want to say hit up the middle because the way the camera goes, but we're moving to the second scoreless. Nicole Frazier, who came in relief of Getty. Here's it, Jackson... 
Did he say Groos? What a name. And I'm gonna guess that this is still Fraser as she's throwing uh, from that left side of the rubber. And I can't read the pitcher's names fast enough. And that's a ground ball allowed to start off the second. Or third. Second. Does he say Prickly Salmon? What a name. Or Brickly. Maybe it's Brickly. And that's a pop-up. Should be an out. Camera swirls around and the catch is made. Two up, two down. Number 21, Gideon Mays. Gideon Mays. What a name. Love this game for names, but more than that, I love baseball for names. You can't go wrong with a sport that's got crazy names. Gideon fouls that one away. It's no balls and a strike. And Cole wheeling and dealing. It's ball and a strike. And foul away, one and two, trying to get out of it, unscathed, and that's foul away, so we'll do it again, Nicole. And that's hit to right, that's going to find some grass roll to the track, and that's going to be a knock for the Stationers. Runner aboard at first, so two going in the inning, and that is going to bring up Samuel Clements. He doesn't own the Brat Company, it's fine. And swing and a miss. And that's not there. One ball, one strike. There it is. One, two. Nicole winds, kicks, deals, slam it. Or that was in there. One of the two. But either way, a strikeout. And we'll move to the bottom of the second. Bullets, nothing. Station ears. Big fat goose egg. Here's the man, the myth, the legend. Feel the spice of agro peppers. One, and that's hit to left. Could be trouble, and it won't be, and he's retired. Reed Solomon making a return to the starting lineup as well. I, I decided to uh, adjust the lineup a little uh, after the last episode. Just to change things up a little bit for a while, and then there's some good players on the bench. And see if any of these younger kids or these newer people we haven't seen a lot this year are worth uh, keeping in the lineup or not. And that's a strikeout. Right fielder, Royal Thunderer, who I personally am a fan of after this season. She's put up decent numbers and come up in some big sponsors. Nobody on two gone here, and Royal is going to make it three gone as that's popped up in the infield. And uh, she will be out in deep. Move to the third, already scoreless thus far for both clubs as we look into the dugout and uh, return. Number 20, Dominic Blade. Find Dominic Blade, I don't know, Dominic something. Stepping back in for his second time and he'll face a new pitcher in the form of uh, Frazier because he was... And the throw across in time. One up, one down. Left fielder, number five, three. Text to speech Benson, who I think is the one who took out Getty. I could be wrong about that. I don't remember. Like I said I worked 60 hours this week between the two jobs that I, I have, and it was. I don't know how to explain it. It was like tolerable and also terrible. A little bit of both, and that's caught. There's two gone. Here's Bill. Two gone. Lucky 13 on the jersey as Nicole fires it in there. Fouled away. It's 0 and 1. But uh, yeah, I definitely like the kids at both jobs a lot. Um, and that's a ground ball out. So we'll move to the bottom of the third, looking for the first run of the day. Here come your bullets. Here comes Nick Jackman. Hair matches the jersey. Ready to do damage. That's in there. Strike. 0 and 1. Clements is dealing tonight. Jackman fouls it away. It's 0 and 2. But yeah, the kids are the easy part. It's the adults that are uh, the challenge. We'll put it that way. But uh, good to be back on some Super Mega Baseball 4. That's grounded the throw across in plenty of time to get Jackman. And here comes Molly O'Connor. Wielding the bat excitedly as much as she can do, anyhow, and it's following its own one. 
And that's hit on the ground. A lot of ground balls. That's fair to throw across in time, though. Two up, two down. Here comes Nicole Frazier. We'll see if she'll bat for herself or if we'll dig into the pen a little more. Looks like Nicole's digging in. And we'll take that uh, as a one ball, one strike count. Nicole fouls it away. One, two. Clements battling. Pitchers doing battle here. And uh, Clements wins this one. Strike out. And she'll go to the... Uh, Dug out, pick up her glove, and head back out there, hopefully for the top of inning number four. Here comes Goodman. That's not there. Too low, it's 1-0, and that's a swing and a miss. Ball on the strike. That's not there. Two and one. Goodman slaps that one, and it's handled easily. He's gone. 15. Demetrius Hoffman. Demetrius Hoffman or Kaufman, I don't know which. It's a cool name, Demetrius. Swing on this, 0-1. And, and not there. That's Nicole in seems to have a habit of stealing that first pitch strike and then not doing it on the second pitch. He's pitching conservatively, I guess. The throw across there, in time. Good play to get the runner. Number 24. Jackson Bruce. Here comes Jackson Bruce. I think it's Bruce. You guys will know. And that's in there. 0 and 1. Swing and I miss Bruce in an 0 2 hole. And that's on the ground and through. So Jackson picks up a knock. Stationers. One aboard. Two gone. Here's Salmon. I don't know if it's Rickley or Prickly. I like the idea of the name being Prickly Salmon. That's disgusting. <laughs> no balls in a strike. That's hit on the ground. Should end the inning and uh, the throw across will indeed be in time to do just that. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth. Cruising in this ball game. Still scoreless. All right, back to the top of your Bayfront Bullets order, and here comes Sasser Jax. Clements stays out there and deals a ball, one and a foul away. One ball, one strike on Sasser. And that's their one, two. Swing and a foul. Almost got a strikeout to Samuel Clements and uh, picks it up on the next pitch, Sasser. Retired. Lucky 13, Canopy Cannon. CC digs in. Unintentional uh, nod to the current Milwaukee Brewers manager, Craig Council, with the CC there. And that's a swing and a miss. And that's down the line foul. Could have been trouble, wasn't. And neither was that as another strikeout for Clements. He is reeling. Here comes Melody Ferguson. Only know her because of that bleach blonde bright hair that she's got. Not our inning thus far. 1-0 though, and uh, bigger innings have started with less chaos. Three balls, no strikes to Melody. And 3-1. Foul away, fills it up. Full count pitch. Another strikeout for Samuel Clements. This one ends the inning. Some would say novelty shoe. Number 21, Gideon Mays. What's the weirdest souvenir as Giz Gid Gizian? <laughs> Gideon Mays steps in? What is the strangest souvenir that's a strike on one that you've ever heard of at a ball game? In terms of like a, a giveaway or something like that. I've got one for you. We'll get to that after Mays. That's foul away. One and two on Gideon. Nicole trying to find that put away pitch. And that's hit on the ground and through. But uh, the Minnesota Twins had a game this year where they gave away a light bulb. Some, you know, energy company had a partnership or whatever. But that was definitely the weirdest one I've seen. Samuel Clements is not going to bat for himself. Here's McGriddle. From breakfast sausage to batter's box. And hits a foul ball on the ground. Nobody out, runner aboard at first. And... Uh, one ball, one strike. 
On the griddle, that's foul away, one and two. Not there, two balls, two strikes. Nicole winds, kicks, fires. And there's a strikeout for Frazier. Not a lot of strikeouts tonight. Dominic steps back in, top of the order for Kansas. Hugoton, Kansas, named after a cool town we got to visit. And that's hit in the air, left field, and that's an out. And it retreats back to the first base, 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 base. Text to speech, Benson steps in, and runner aboard at first. Two gone. That's in there. Not quite there, one and one. Nicole trying to end the sitting. That's foul away, one and two. Trying to get out of it. And she'll do it. Easily. Good outing for Nicole Frazier thus far. And uh, we cruise right along to the bottom of the fifth. Still scoreless. All right. Agro Pepper stepping in. Lead off spot. Clean up, man. Time to get something to cruise in here. And it looks like Clements has been replaced by who? You know I don't. That's hit a long way. Going, going, gone. Agro Peppers. Feel the spice. And it's one nothing. Bullets. Solo home run there for Agro Peppers. Details on the screen. He is hyped. Reed Solomon steps in after the home run, and this crowd might have just gotten all it needed for a win. One nothing bullets as we play the fifth. Ball and a strike. Solomon on the ground, and that should be an easy play, and will in fact be just that. Here comes Royal Thunder. Hasn't done much thus far, but uh, doesn't mean it couldn't change. I'd like to maybe move her up to the fifth spot, I think, after this ballgame. I think she's got someone. Is it her that's got the Mind Gamer trade? I think that's what that whistling might be a part of. And Royal, left field, going back. And caught out, but a good ride did she put on that baseball. All right. Here comes Nick Jackman. The royally red flow. Well, two outs, but a run already in off of that solo home run. Spicy piece of hitting there by Agro Peppers. He's the man of the season thus far, and that's three balls. Swing and a miss, Jackman. Fouls it away. We'll do it again, full count. And on the ground, the throw over. Plenty of time, no problem to get out of it, but the uh, bullets get a run. Six inning we go, one nothing. Here's your score. The third base, number 13, Ash Bell. Here's Bell. And uh, we'll see who's pitching. Uh, Daniel's coming in for what my guess would be Jackman. Not sure who, uh, who she subbed out, but Solid uh, defensive player for us to try to save any run opportunities. Should be an easy play and will be in just, in fact. Alan Goodman stepping in. Who's on the hill here? Still Nicole. Wow. Marathon being asked of Frazier and she has delivered at least up to this point. Goodman. No balls and a strike on the ground. The throw across in time. Two gone. How about it? The second baseman, number 15, Demetrius Kaufman. Here comes Demetrius Kaufman. Now pitching Steve Woodard. Steve Woodard going to step in off the uh, out of the bullpen and deal a not strike and it's 1-0. Oh. Two of those in a row and it's 2-0. and oh. Demetrius didn't have to do much on that. Three balls, no strikes. And Steve, four pitches and a walk right out of the pen. Well, here comes Jackson. He's uh, he's whacked it tonight. He looks a little like Luigi. 
with the mustache and the green and you know there's a strike from Steve he knows how to throw him once in a while when he's not being a complete square and that's outside nowhere close and that may find grass it's gonna find grass and that could tie up this ball game if someone can't get there runners at third going for the plate gonna have it and you're looking at a tie ball game Steve Woodard thank you sir Salmon. Surprise, surprise, you don't want to do too many walks and salmon in the box. There's a strike. Two of those, 0-2. Oh, and not quite there in that instance. And uh, here in the top of the sixth, things are certainly a little more tense. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Come on, Steve. Three balls, two strikes. And that could be trouble. And that's an out. So only tightrope out of it, having given up one, thanks to Steve Woodard being Steve Woodard. And we move to the bottom of the six, tying up a run apiece. Leading off the inning here is Molly O'Connor. Except it'll be Tiago Young instead. And get something cooking, and he is an 0-1 count. Now, two as he fouls that one away. And that's three strikes in a row. You're out, as the old song goes. Get Steve out of here or I'll cry. Get Steve out of here or I'll cry. Okay, I guess I have to cry. Steve, grounds out. No problem. Two up, two down. Cesar Jax stepping in. Why would you ever keep Steve out in this spot? Absolutely not. Strike on Jax. Two of those, and the good pitching has been present tonight. One, two. Hit to left. That's got a chance. Cesar Jax has given us a 2-1 lead in the sixth. Home run, Cesar Jacks. What a big one. And that's 2 1 bullets. Wow. Here comes Canopy Cannon. Another big home run for your bullets. Canopy in a heck of a count, 3 0. Oh. He's just standing there waiting for his pitch. Thought he had it there, fouled it away. It's full count, three and two. And on the ground, and that's an error on somebody. Fell over, messed it up. Canopy's at first, and the inning will continue. Here comes Melody Ferguson. Sonny Canto going to step in off the uh, bullpen. Out of the bullpen, rather. Uh, for Hugerton. Melody. Two gone. She swings. Fouls one away. 0-1. One, one. Swing and a drive. And that's caught. Well, we'll move to the seven with a one-run lead. If they keep Steve in this ballgame, I think I quit. Catcher, number 21, Gideon May. Gideon Mays coming back. Now batting Byron Patrick. Byron Patrick going to uh, pinch hit, and we've got, uh, who? Jason Kleppenstein, I think, stepping in behind the dish, and Steve has given up a hit. Fortunately, it was a ground ball, and that ground ball was handled competently by the defense, and there's one gone. Here's Smash Phillips. That is the best name in the series, 100%. <laughs> I love that. You can even, you can you can get a hit, because you have a good name. I will I will grant you one hit. Okay, there it is. It's a foul ball, so we're fine. Um, one ball, two strikes on Smash Phillips. He follows one away to stay alive. And that's not there. Two balls, two strikes. And that's smashed, Phillips, and gone. So, two gone. Here comes Dominic, and he is uh, the last hope for Hugoton. And finally, we're going to put in a competent pitcher in the form of Alvin Lawrence to get our final out tonight. There's strike one. 
And uh, one ball, one strike. And that's fouled away. Down to their final strike of the Stationers. Not there, two and two the pitch. Foul away, we'll do it again. Here it is. Swing and a pop-up. This could be the ball game. The catch is made. And just like that, your Bayfront Bullets tight rope themselves into a close win. The final score tonight, 2-1. to one. Good game of baseball. Other than Steve being a square and Getty getting knocked around. Look at this insanity. Two runs on just three hits for your bullets. Despite seven hits coming away with the singular notch in the run column, Mario, or Yugaton Station ears. And uh, here's a number look at the big numbers. A number look. See, I told you my brain was fried. You didn't have to believe me, but now you have no choice. We're going to take a look at the pitching numbers here. Alvin Lawrence picks up the uh, save. How many ball games has he saved this season? Is that a, is that a metric we have uh, things for? Strikeouts, home run, ERA, win loss, saves. Yes, yeah, so he has three if I'm looking at the right column, which is entirely possible. I am not. Uh, where are you? Yeah, you're down here at the bottom. So, yeah, you've got three of them. Love to see it. And get the win. Steve Woodard absolutely does not deserve that. Nicole is the pitching MVP of the night. I don't care what this nonsense has to say about it. But, uh, hey, look, it's not one of our guys. It's also not one of our guys taking the... the uh, Nicole Frazier is going to get the MVP. So, thank you for that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. At least there is some justice in the game of baseball, and it was present there in the MVP. I was going to say proceedings, presentings, proceedings. All right, let's see. The uh, We have a manager moment to continue. The media is asking uh, who you thought uh, was uh, shockingly bad in today's game. Who do you throw under the bus? Well... Depends what the choices are, of course, but uh, we seem to have options of Melody Ferguson and Reed Solomon. Uh, uh, Melody, looks like you're my loyalty casualty. <laughs> Sorry, Melody. Try again. And we have another one. And what's what's hopping this time? Uh, a couple players have been uh, posting uh, disgusting recipes to social media. We've talked about this with bad poetry. We've talked about this with... Uh, I don't know what the other ones have been throughout the course of the last two seasons. Tiago. Come on, man. You're better than that. Cesar, you are also better than that. Tiago. Knock it off, my guy. Like, come on. You were, like, with the team, and then you weren't with the team, and now you're with the team, and you're just... <sighs> Someone has to give up their uh, parking space this season. Who's, uh... Gonna have to walk from street park. Street parking? Hmm. Do we do that to our boy Nick Jackman? I mean, it gives him a chance to show off the hair. So there's a plus to the to the long uh, walk. Or Royal Thunderer, who's been kind of an asset for us. Royal, I apologize, my friend. I do like you, though. You're a cool bean. But, uh... No one doesn't like you. Uh... -oh. The parking attendants, I guess. I don't know why they're making a player give up a spot. There should be plenty of player parking outside the diamond, but... What are you going to do? Uh, fire someone in the parking department. That's what we should do, but uh, we have no capacity for that, because that's not the kind of game... I don't know why that became Australian. That's not the kind of game we're playing. Um, but yeah, thank you for checking out another episode. Of, speaking of bad accents, our uh, lovely host has decided to park the car and have it yard. We are going to um, continue the homestand in our next episode by the looks of things. I'm going to pop up, stand up a little bit, oh, so I can see what's going on. Looks like the uh, Detroit Pit Stoppers, who are 12 and 15, will be in town against your 14-13 Bullets. They are defensive experts. We are balanced, apparently. 
Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, the pitching matchup. We'll see Antonella. Oh my. Oh, Odom. Heck of a name. Uh, not heck of a stats, though. The K collector trait. And uh, pick officer. So. 1 3 with a 7 1 ERA. And uh, posing for your bullets. Wedge Vologus, who is a uh, 0-2 with a 10 ERA. That's a nasty, nasty bunch of nonsense right there. But all that and more to come. We're going to look at uh, a couple places that need some improvement. Uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, uh, Steve. Steve, what are you? Uh, also, uh, Jason, and uh, there was one other player that I was talking about earlier in this video that I can't even remember who it was. That uh, is not going to be with us for very much longer if the nonsense continues, which thus far it has certainly continued. Just about through another season. So if you have any input on the team or anything like that, or if you have any questions, comments, queries, theories, ideas for world domination, uh, Amazon wish list items, chocolate chip cookie recipes, or uh, what the clouds look like in your area in terms of animals. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I am fried and exhausted. I think my plan is I'm going to uh, ready this video for upload and then I'm going to sleep for like um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 hours is my plan. But uh, I wanted to try to get at least one, possibly two, maybe three um, parts of this series out this weekend because... I miss doing the YouTube thing, and I just don't feel like I have the time to do it during the week. So, appreciate you guys bearing with the uh, change in the non-schedule. You guys know I don't have a schedule, but this has uh, certainly put a damper a little bit on my ability and my uh, uh, motivation to record just because I'm so tired. I don't want to give you guys content that's not enjoyable. So, hopefully this was enjoyable if you liked it. Or want to see more from me, there's a lot of buttons down there. You hit the ones that you think are appropriate for you. I'm not even going to suggest which ones you want to hit because it's not up to me. It's up to you. Thanks for checking it out. Have a fantastic day, evening, night, whatever it is. And I'll see you in the next ballgame. Peace.